So Donald Trump has his team of Avengers, or as Jordan Peterson calls them, his X-Men. So if you're voting for Donald Trump, you're not just voting for Donald Trump. You're voting for his, him and his team. And I'm talking Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Tulsi Gabbard, Vivek Ramaswamy. Um, heck, now I can even throw Ron Paul into that mix. Elon Musk. Just to name a few, well, you have those Avengers, and then you have these Avengers. Kamala's celebrity closing cringe. Avengers cast reunites to save democracy. That's right. We have Chris Evans, not a movie star. Uh, John, Don Cheadle, not a movie star. Mark Ruffalo, definitely not a movie star. Scarlett Johansson, questionable movie star. Paul Bettany, definitely not a movie star. Uh, Danny Guerrera, I hope I pronounced that right. Not a movie star. And, uh, Robert Downey Jr., who is a movie star. But I think he's lost some IQ points. Just saying. So this is from Breitbart.com. The cast for Marvel's The Avengers reunited this week in support of Kamala Harris, declare, declaring themselves down with democracy. <laughs> no, I think they were saying that Kamala Harris needs to be down with democracy. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. In fact, I pulled up this this post from Mark Ruffalo. And if you notice, as always, what these people do, you can't comment. They're afraid. They're afraid of getting flamed by ordinary people like you and me for what is tantamount to be one of the cringiest political ads you can ever see. So here we go. Hi, you guys. Hi, Avengers. Hi, hey, hey, Scarlett. Jumping on the call. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you mean assembling. <laughs> really? Thank you for jumping on the call. Oh, you mean assembling? Yikes. <laughs> I said wow. assembling. Don, that's pretty good. No, that, that was funny. Scarlett, it is our pleasure to come together and to get the vote out this election. Come on. Yeah, how can we be of service? Well, how about we start with uh, what our voting plans are going to be, who we're going to bring to the polls with us, that sort of thing. Just to, I, to... I think Kamala Harris needs a catchphrase. Ooh, yes, definitely a catchphrase. How about this? I'm just up the top of my head. I can do this all day. Shut up. I hate it. Okay. I mean, it's original, but... What about something punchier like... Ooh, ooh. Boom! You looking for this? Iron Man 2, everybody loved it. Okay, again, I think we're just trying to get out the vote. Kamala forever! That's better. Okay, how about I'm down with democracy? It's just clean, it's simple. Okay, I like that. It's hard to argue with that. Kamala Harris, down with democracy. Oh, yeah. I'm Kamala Harris, and I say, down with democracy. I don't know if... Now... <laughs> I don't think Don Cheadle just understands what he just said. <laughs> I'm Kamala Harris down with democracy. Well, first of all, we're not a democracy. We're a constitutional republic, representative republic. Second of all, down with democracy basically means you want to eliminate democracy. I guess that's part of that fundamental transformation Barack Obama started a number of years ago with his presidency. Some of you may not remember that. The fundamental transformation of America, down with democracy. That sounds the way we want it to sound, though. I think we just need, can we get some production, though? Jarvis? My name's not Jarvis, but whatever. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Mm. Down with democracy. Down with democracy. Is that what we mean, Mel? Yeah, together we're gonna tear down democracy. Will you stop playing heroic music under yourselves? I'm Kamala Harris, and I am down with democracy. 
Did I sound enough like her on that one? That was great. How many Golden Globes have you been nominated for? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> yes! All right, that was awesome. Okay. Now, let's talk celebrity endorsements. My belief, my opinion is celebrity endorsements really don't sway people one way or another, unless you're somebody that's not paying attention, you're a low information voter. But if you look at the celebrity endorsements that we that we've had this this election season, on the left, you've had Oprah, you've had the cast of the Avengers, you've got Will Ferrell. Which, by the way, Will Ferrell is a shell of his former self. I don't know what's happened to that guy. He's no longer funny. Um, you got Megan the Stallion, Car Cardi B. What happened to Cardi B? Cardi B went from I'm not endorsing anybody from pre for president anymore to I'm endorsing Kamala Harris. Um... I mean, the list can go on and on and on. John Legend. Um, you guys get what I'm saying. Now, on the other side, you've got Kid Rock. Kid Rock's been an, arvid, an avid Trump supporter for a number of years. Um, you guys lost Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan is a, is a trump -a maniac. Um, you got The Undertaker, Mark Calloway. And of course, Glenn Jacobs, who is the mayor of Knoxville County, from also known as Kane, the Undertaker's brother. Um, Dr. Phil, Gina Carano, Danica Patrick, just to name a few. So although my opinion, celebrity endorsements don't amount to much. Um some celebrity endorsements can really hinder your campaign. And in my opinion, this would be one of them. So there you have it. The Avengers, a symbol for Kamala Harris in a cringe. And I will say again, cringe ad. Now that parkplace.com, they also dive into this. Marvel Avengers stars mocked for cringe inducing campaign push with joke that isn't well received. And here are some of the comments. Of course, you won't find these on Mark Buffalo's post. Cast of the Avengers who all now look like they have terminal illnesses say down with democracy and tear down democracy in support of Kamala Harris. This doesn't quite hit the way they intended it to. This is the part of the movie where the Avengers kill half the American population with the power of cringe. Now, on the flip side, like Zachary Levi, who says, I'm not voting for Donald Trump. I'm voting for Donald Trump, Bobby Kennedy, Tulsi Gabbard, Vivek Ramaswamy, Elon Musk, and J.D. Vance, and everyone else that they're going to bring in on this team, this Avengers-like lineup. There's a big difference here, folks. Just wanted to point that out. So there you go. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I, I, I think this is one of the cringiest things I've seen and, and <laughs> way to close out a campaign. Um, while you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I hope everybody has a great Monday and I will see you guys. Later.